I was just searching for something better, something different. Um, I knew I felt stuck. I knew I felt like there was something limiting me and needed help overcoming it. it there was other programs, other things that I have tried just never really got me to the place where I needed to feel free, I guess is the best way to say it. <laughs> so what has changed? What has changed for me is I feel like everything in my entire world. Um, before it was, I was very stuck. I was very reluctant to even put myself out there. And it was this absolute fear of rejection that I needed to overcome and needed to have, have some faith and trust and love in myself to be able to overcome those things, to even talk to somebody, to even put myself out there, to really express my needs, my wants, my desires, and even communicate well. Um, so those things have all been shifted and adjusted and changed because of the work I've done with you. So I've, I tried multiple programs that honestly addressed a few things that I was having problems with, except it never got to the root cause as to why I was having those problems. It was just almost like a band-aid effect. Oh, well, you need to talk better. You need to communicate more. Well, it, they never told me why I couldn't communicate. They, they kept giving me a very like band-aid answer as to what I needed to fix or what I needed to change or how I needed to do something better or different without saying, here's why you're doing that. Here is the, the problem you have from your past that is saying, there's, you know, this is why. And, and it's funny because I, don't, I never recognized it. I never realized it. I, I didn't even know that that's where it came from. And knowing where it comes from and then allowing or giving myself the permission to say, hey, I'm not that anymore. <laughs> that's not who I am. That's not who my six-year-old self needs. My six-year-old self needs more love and attention and deservedness. And so giving myself that permission to be kind to myself is where it all came from, is where what made the biggest change or the biggest shift in my mentality and in the way I act and interact with other people. In my marriage, just the, the ability to say, here, I would like this, I want that, I need this, um, just to speak up for myself versus being oh, if you want that, I'll want it too. If you want this, I'll do it too, which was very manipulative in the way I would proceed or ask for things that I wanted. It's like I didn't give myself permission to get my desires or needs met. And so, so with that, my marriage has just become so much more intentional, so much deeper, so much more trust has been built, so much more, um, I, I think he actually knows who I am because I know who I am. With one of the recommendations and with a, and actually with the, with the training that I went through, it has brought conversations to light that we had never addressed before. I've been married 26 and a half years, almost 20, been together 28 years, and I know more about my husband today than I ever have in the past. Um, he knows more about me than he ever has in the past. And it has brought us so much closer just by being able to have those open, honest conversations. And it just sparked curiosity in both of us as to what do you think about this? What do I think about this? And how do we per proceed with both of our you know, expectations or both of our ideas on it? So it was, it's been a phenomenal change in our marriage. Me. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. It's... Um, I, I know I have a lot to offer someone, and I don't know that I would have ever said that before to anyone. I would have, I would have dismissed my capabilities and my abilities to help someone, and now it's like, no, I know I can help you with that. I know I can do this. So speaking up, saying my mind, being actually able to confront someone with the issues that they're having, it's helped my business because I'm more open and honest with what I see, which then allows them to address and fix and change what needs to be changed in their businesses. So I, I think it's just allowed me to be me. Don't struggle alone. Um, I know for, uh, I would say probably for 40 some years, I've been looking for why do I act the way I do? Why am I this way? What, what is holding me back? And it, searching on your own is fine and good and you probably can get a lot of information from books, but it really does take someone else holding a mirror in front of you saying, here's where who you are, here's where you're at and how you can overcome whatever it is you're struggling with. So I would, I would highly recommend somebody not face it alone and to get some help.
it's funny when when Brad first mentioned the price tag of this. I'm like, oh, okay, that's not that bad. I think I'd be all right. I, I think it'll be worth it. You know, kind of not maybe worried about it, but it's like, you know what? It can't hurt. That was that was my mindset in the first place. Afterwards, Brad asked me the question, what would I pay for it now? And it's priceless. I, I would stroke a check tomorrow for well over a hundred grand just to get the results that I've gotten today. Um, my life has completely done a 360 and has been absolutely transformational in the way I approach every person I meet, approach my relationships, approach the people I love, and approach myself. Um, so yeah, it's priceless in my opinion, and if you're ever hesitating about it, uh, don't. Just give Brad a call and, and start the work today. I highly recommend Limitless You.